Yo guys, what's going on? It's Gamer on Grand Street here back with another YouTube video here to bring you guys a response video to a Nero's Cinema video. The video is titled The Best Call of Duty Ever and in this video Nero gives reasons as to why he believes Black Ops 1, the original Black Ops, was the best Call of Duty in the entire franchise out of all of the, the games, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, etc. So today, I intend on doing that same thing with my personal opinion. Let me give you guys a little bit of a background on my Call of Duty experience. So, I started playing Call of Duty in Black Ops 2, but wait, I went back and bought every Call of Duty from Call of Duty 3 on. So I've played Call of Duty 3, COD 4, Before Modern Warfare Remastered, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare, Ghost, and here we are in Infinite Warfare slash Modern Warfare Remastered. So I have an extensive knowledge. And granted, some of these games I didn't play a lot of, but I played enough to get a grip on. And some of these games I've played a lot to where I'm, you know, third, fourth prestige in these games way after they're out of their prime, such as Black Ops 2, where I believe I'm third prestige. Just games like that. So you guys get the general idea. So what do I think the best Call of Duty within the franchise is? I'm actually super excited about this because I got to go back and watch some of my gameplays from this video from this game to decide what gameplay I wanted to use for the video. And I already know what gameplay I'm using, so that's great. The best Call of Duty, in my opinion, has to be Black Ops 2. Now, aside from the fact that it's the Call of Duty that I started on, which should make it kind of like a nostalgic feel, I didn't actually go back and play it for this video. But what I will tell you is during Ghost, uh, is when I started making YouTube videos. About halfway through it, I made a video called I Don't Like Ghost, which I, can't, I went back and watched, and I, I, I think Ghost is... Ghost is in my top three, which is a very unpopular opinion, but for the majority of Ghost, I did play Black Ops 2. For the majority of Advanced Warfare, I did play Black Ops 2, and even some of Black Ops 3, I dabbled in playing Black Ops 2. So Black Ops 2, in my opinion, withstood the test of time, and when I get my 360 rehooked up here in a couple of days, I will be playing Black Ops 2 again. So we're going to talk about the campaign first, because I played, I've, I've kind of touched on campaign in every Call of Duty. It's not really my thing, so I'm looking at this from a, a, an online person's spectator point. So the campaign was, was good. I could sit down. When the game came out, I did play for about an hour or two. Uh, didn't really touch... I had this issue where every time I go back and play a campaign, I can't pick up from it. I need to restart. So I played the campaign the, the first hour or so, maybe three or four times. And it was good because I could get into it for that hour or so. And then I personally would get off because, like I said, I'm not a campaign person. So it was a great for someone that kind of just touched on it. So I don't really have a whole lot I'm going to talk about with that. But like I said, campaign, I was able to get involved in, in, in it for probably 10 hours in total. So next we have the zombies. Now, World of War Zombies was really solid. It was the initiator of the series of the zombies. Everything it was great for that purpose. Black Ops 1 had great zombies. 5, in my opinion, is probably the worst zombies map ever created. But Black Ops 2, you have Mob of the Dead. You have the Old Western one, which the name escapes me right now. But Mob of the Dead is usually my favorite zombies map ever. And I will, I've gone back and played that a couple times, even while Black Ops 3 was out. Or whatever black ops 3 in comparison to zombies was okay the giant was a really solid map and i didn't really get into that black ops 2 i played a lot a lot of zombies and i could never re imitate that for any other call of duty that had zombies advanced warfare i played zombies probably half a dozen times and then just fell off wasn't enjoying the game anymore or wasn't enjoying the zombies aspect of it anymore so i stopped playing that black ops 3 same thing, I would only play it when my friends wanted to play it. I couldn't actually hop on and do it on my own like I did in Black Ops 2. I would hop on and play Mob of the Dead solo, get my ass beat, play town solo, do semi well on town. It was it was enjoyable. Now, that's not to say that I that's the best zombies game I, that I've done on because the best game I've done was on the original Black Ops first zombie map. The name, again, escapes me. Kino de Toten. I did great on that map. That's the, the map I have the highest round on. But Black Ops 2 was the most consistency for me. I had the most fun playing Black Ops 2 zombies. And even when I get it hooked up here in a couple of days, I'm probably going to have the most fun playing that zombies. Again, in comparison to what we have going on with Infinite Warfare, Zombies in Spaceland, and Rave in the Redwoods coming out very shortly. So the part that I'm really actually excited about making in this video is the multiplayer facet of it because 
this is my thing. Multiplayer is my thing. I consider myself a fairly good Call of Duty player uh, with currently in Infinite Warfare just above a 2.0 KD and a Modern Warfare Remastered somewhere around a 1.5. I've been consistently good. Black Ops 3 had a, had a high KD. I've been consistently good since I started playing and I've kind of worked towards it. So multiplayer is kind of my thing. In my opinion, it's what I like the most. It's what I do the most. It's what I have the most fun playing. So we're going to talk about maps. The maps were good. They sorted, they did, they assisted multiple styles of play is what I'm trying to say. If you played hijack, generally you'd want to use an SMG for that. But if you use the shotgun under underground or under the ship, you destroyed people. If you wanted to use an assault rifle and kind of chill on the left side lanes in cabana or on the walkway, you could do that. You could hold that down. Snipers. Hijacked had some of the most snipers I've ever seen on a small map ever in Call of Duty. Some of the maps that weren't so great that I'm going to give you an example of, and these, in my opinion, are the worst maps from Black Ops 2. And I can't even say that they sucked because you could use different types of guns. And I've seen my friends be super successful with different types of guns that I would never even imagine using for these maps. So we're going to start with Aftermath. Aftermath, if you guys don't recall, is kind of like the broken down one in a business district almost. So if you stuck to the the inside the where the waterfall is in the building room, you could use a shotgun all day and destroy. Snipers were really easily accessible and usable in the middle of the map, as were SMGs and assault rifles, along with the bus hanging off the side of the walkway there. On the other side of the map, you could use any type of gun. I've seen people get 40, 50 kills in domination with an R870 on that game. On that map next we have drone this actually probably has to be one of the maps I've heard people complain about the most on but if you go inside the building shotguns SMGs all day you go middle map you got to use an MA you got to use an AN-94 you got to use those guns you could use a sniper op. my buddy has gotten so many clips on drone as a sniper so that that map even in of itself may be the worst map in black ops 2 that i can think of and by the way i'm going off maps it shipped with it would take me a little bit longer to remember dlc maps because i played more of the base maps the entire time so drone you could pretty much snipe shotgun assault rifle smg same thing with aftermath now turbine here's what i'm going to tell you the smg in my opinion wasn't as efficient as it could have been on turbine but using guns like the mtar or the M8 or the AN94, M27, stuff like that weren't out of reach when it came to turbine. Snipers, highly efficient as well. This is one of the maps that I feel you, you could use an LMG on all the time. The LSAT tore people up. The MK48 tore people up. I believe it's a 48. It might be a different number. But it tore people up on this map. This map was phenomenal for that purpose. Next, it had the most, in my opinion, consistent gun use. Now, the reason why I disagree with Nero's initial statement of Black Ops 1 being the best Call of Duty ever is I feel like it was too inconsistent. I could be using the same exact class as somebody I'm facing against and die in 2-3 bullets. Now, I know that's connection and that's not gun, like, stats or anything like that, and I got that. I understand that. But... It just didn't feel consistent to me and maybe it's because I, I uh, you know I only proceed three times I didn't play it as much as he did and he has a whole lot more experience than I do on that game but it just wasn't there for me in consistency purposes there are guns in each class at least half of the guns in each class of weapons were usable the ballista DSR 50 and the snipers LMGs you had the LSAT and the MK 48 like I mentioned earlier with shotguns you had the R870 and you had the s12 were easily great shotguns the m1216 was kind of fun to use if you guys don't remember that it was the four round burst shotgun great gun or not great but fun to use with the smgs we had the pw P, pdw 50 and you had the mp7 the msmc the chai Cum was actually baller if you used it enough assault rifles m27 mtar m8 and 94 like type 25 even like you had swap 556 was really enjoyable you had good guns and every class everything could be used and that's why i made it enjoyable even what i would what some people would consider the worst smg in call of duty history being the chicom because who uses a three round burst smg that i've had some of the most fun in call of duty black ops 2 using that gun the chicom is actually not bad so regardless that's my opinion i want to i want to know what you guys think um so first off i'm going to link nero's video down in the description below kind of a respect thing um so let me know what you guys think the best Call of Duty is in the entire series from where you started to where you are now if you want to do it in that time sequence or 
the entirety if you've played if you went back and played other games that you didn't necessarily play in your prime like I did and if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up comment down below what I just asked you to the what games you think were the best and subscribe if you guys are new this is game on grand street and I'll see you guys later peace out